Hey yo, what is up all my fellow fires? Enemy Warrior 112 back at you with another playthrough of The Walking Dead. Last time we left off, we were talking with uh, we were talking with that creepy guy on the swing, cradle on the sitting next to the swing, cradling his gun, and I swear that guy is so bizarre and so freaking creepy. But uh, I guess we're just gonna get back into it because I'm not entirely sure what we're supposed to do now. I guess we'll just. Wonder about and see what we can do. Let's, uh, guess let's go see if dinner's ready. Yeah? Pardon me, Brenda. What's on your mind, Lee? When will dinner be ready? Should be ready before too long. Okay, so dinner ain't ready yet. The hell are we gonna do until then? Oh, I can... I can talk to Mr. Big Mouth over there, I guess. Talk to Asshole Larry over there. I still don't trust him. I still don't like him at all. Oh, he's over there with his daughter. Oh, this should be fun. So, Larry, it, uh... Looks like you're getting along with Brenda pretty well. You know, for a nice change of pace, how about you try and mind in your own fucking business? How about you take it easy? Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? We found a woman in the woods. She was talking all crazy and had a crossbow. So Danny killed her. Holy shit. Was she one of those bandits? I don't know. I think she was trying to tell me something. But then, he just went off. I don't like this, Lee. I still say we should go back to the motor inn, where we at least know what to expect. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here. We don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. Hmm. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Being at the uh, farm. Hey, um, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. How do you put up with him? How do you put up with him? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes. I know that. But he's <clears throat> not a bad guy. He just... He's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much and lost pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself and me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. That so yeah, he's probably going to keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Do you get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, that's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Shut up, Larry. Such an asshole. Wait, doesn't offer much in the way of protection, though. Guess we can't go that way. Oh, come on. Move it, Lee. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. 
We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. No kidding. Over the hay pile. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. I don't have the slightest clue as to what I'm supposed to do. I'm not joking. I'm not kidding. I, I don't know what to do. All fixed. That should make everyone happy. Storing gasoline all over the property. Yes, Take a look at the gender. Glad Andy there. knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. I'm clueless about this stuff. Yeah. I'm not surprised. Yeah. Doesn't look very safe, but I guess that's the point. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Of course it's probably not safe. Like a giant bug zapper for humans, or walkers. I guess we can go back and die. I don't know what else to do, honestly. We could check out- Ooh, wait a minute. I didn't see this last time. This door. Oh, there's you a You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is, we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something, and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal on those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban. Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Wow. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn. Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Hey, guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. Start getting out of the barn, all right. So, how are we going to do that? I guess we'll figure that out in the next video. We'll, uh, we'll try to figure that out in the next video. I, was, I can only get one video out tonight because it's, it's super late and I am crazy tired. I apologize for the lack of videos, but I was only able to get one out. If I'm able to, if I'm able to, I will try to get one out to you guys during the day tomorrow. You know, but, um, 
Yeah, I think this is pretty much the only... This, I think this might be the last video that you guys are going to be seeing for a few days. Because after Christmas... Uh, right now I'm filming this at like almost 2.30 in the morning. So it's it's Christmas Day. Uh, so you, pro you guys probably won't be seeing any more videos until the weekend at the very least. So I apologize for that, but... I put them out when I'm able to. I can't do any more tonight, so... Thank you all so much for watching. If you like what you see here, please hit that thumbs up button, because it really does help me out. You still gotta hit that magic number 50, so you guys need to work on that. Spread the word of this channel. You gotta hit that magic number 50 to get the Q&A video in. You still need two questions. Two questions at the very least to finish the Q&A video. So that's something else you guys need to work on. So thank you all so much for watching. This is Ennuor112, signing off. See you around, all my fellow fighters. Peace.